All right, guys, we are back for another Dokkan battle video. We got another EZA Dokkan Fest TUR, uh, our girl Videl. Uh, Videl's pretty good. I mean, before we even start, she's good. Um, but what she is is very, very similar in terms of strengths and weaknesses to the Gotenks as well as Kefla. Um, I am pretty certain of how I feel about them. So let's go ahead and jump in. Now, there is kind of... Let's just start with the last two here. Um, I'm not super high on either. Both of these characters are nothing more than very niche options on some of these teams, right? On, on super bosses, you can maybe hide Zamasu enough to where you could stack up and he could help in, like, the Blue Gogeta fight. Super Saiyan 3 Goku could be effective, but um, if he's not getting his dodges off uh, commonly... Oh, I didn't translate these. Well, whoops. Um, but yeah, if, uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku, if he's not, um, getting his dodges off, uh, this right here, he has no defensive power whatsoever. It, this is, is everything with him. And I mean, he's only at a 30% chance to dodge. This guy definitely does feel quite a bit weaker, um, in terms of super easy A's compared to the other super easy A characters. And again, Zamasu, I really prefer when characters start out really good. And this guy, I mean, he, <laughs> this guy was bad, uh, it, you know, when he came out. And now, I mean, it's a hundred times worse, but uh, there's not really better options for easy ATURs. Who are we going to grab? Android 13? Jiren? <laughs> oh, no. Um, okay, so next we're going to grab these next two. Uh, now, I know that this is going to seem like, oh my god, like these guys seem a little low, especially Kid Buu, who is very good. But the problem is, I in the new Supreme Magnificent Battle, I, I've found it very rough on characters that need to get hit. Um, Gamma 1, Orange Piccolo, Kid Buu, Super Easy Goku Black. I, like These enemies are starting to hit so hard, so fast that it, it, getting those hits in can be tough, um, especially in the Goku and Frieza fight. Android 17 could lock. It could be very difficult to get those hits in that you need. Um, I think if there was a better, like, Big Bad Bosses character, Majin character, like, if there was, if, you know, one of the worldwide LRs is, like, turn one Buhan, I, this guy would would probably be just fixed. Like, he, I would be probably willing to shoot him back up. Buhan, the, the one we have right now, he he's good. Like, he, he's definitely effective, but... I mean, he, he is going to be dodge or die in some of these big fights. And here's the thing with Buhan. Again, I mean, he needs to build up to it. Um, you know, being good right away can really help. And, you know, Boo Tanks, as he starts out, does not have big bad bosses. If we get turn one Buhan, I, I think that Kid Buu could be helped out quite a bit. Um, I, I feel like I like Kid Buu a lot better than Goku Black. But, again, Goku Black, also, same thing. He needs to get hit. It's just It's just brutal. Super easy a Goku Black, I I just find it so easy for him to get walloped in these new fights. But, like, especially if we're running Super Bosses, like, we need his orbs for, like, Broly, Chan, Lemo. It's just Super Bosses, I, this might be shot, like, they need, we need two extra characters for Super Bosses, man. We need two more characters. Like, it's, I, I know they've released so many Super Bosses characters, they have not done a good job with Super Bosses team. It's, I mean, I know people like Physical Rosé. But his design uh, is just not good for like the le like like what he he like he's very redundant with Broly. That's a problem. It's I don't know I don't know. But it, I mean it's yeah I mean th this is fine. Um, then next we can get into the batch of characters Dodger die character territory. So we have Go Tanks. Wait, my browser froze. What? There. Okay, here yeah, Go Tanks. What? Uh, hold on. Uh, I'm having issues. I guess. Hold on. All right, maybe it should be good now. Bro, yeah, great. Get a new PC for this reason. Then Videl, and then I'm also going to grab the Gotenks as well. I'm just going to grab the next four in line right here. Um, so we have Kefla, we have Videl, we have Int Gotenks, and then we have Tech Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. These are the next four characters um, in line. So, I have in Gotenks at the back here. Remember, all of these characters... Well, I mean, not Tech Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. I guess he can um, have good tanking if you get 11 key with him. 
And I think, like, Super Saiyan 2 Kefla, deep in the fight, you know, after she gets a barrage of super attacks off, she could certainly be fairly fine defensively as well. But remember, I mean, it, it the thing is, is that people will give their thoughts on these types of characters, and if they like the character, they're only going to talk about best-case situations, right? That's all they give a shit about. But all four of these characters can get just killed instantly, very easily, right? Um, so Gotenks I have at the back right here. The reason Gotenks is back here is because I probably, once he goes in Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, he's better than all of them. And he's even better than, you know, Exchange Boo, who I have at 2. Um, but because, you know, his dodge is crazy, right? Like, you know, he, he's going to be able to have all this dodge built up. He's just going to be super, super crazy, this in Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. But the issue is it takes quite a while to get there. It's very difficult. So second turn that Int Gotenks is on, he'll be in Super Saiyan form. And then you have to float him. And then when he comes back, you need to be above 70% HP. I, it's just not... Kefla, it's just next turn, next turn, boom, you're Super Saiyan 2. Gotenks, it's not that easy. And, I mean, the hardest fight in the game right now. 17 locks. So you don't just get the luxury of, oh, we can perfectly just float them now. And, it, like, it doesn't just work that way all the time. Um, but, I mean, obviously, Int Gotenks could be good. Um, keep in mind that these, you know, dodge or die characters in here, not really tech Gotenks, but the other ones, I mean, they potentially could go slot one against, like, Goku and Frieza. Videl can be impactful against the Goku and Frieza fight. Um, you know, she can be crushed in the tech pan slot. Because, you know, if you have her in slot one, she could do a huge amount of damage. But she's going to be very squishy to, uh, like, a big super attack after she attacks. Again, it's the same weakness that Tech Pan had uh, two years ago. Oh, yeah, exactly two years ago, right? Tech Pan was the, uh, you know, July 30th character um, in 2022 or whatever. Or that, that time slot, right, is the point. Um, but Videl... I mean, she could just get killed pretty easily. I mean, if she's not juiced up on a million, billion, trillion tons of support, I mean, even just normals from some of these really big bosses like Cell Max and stuff like that will kill her. I, I mean, I saw her just get cold-blooded one-shot, right? I, I saw her get obliterated in slot three after she supers, right? Um, keep in mind that she does have 70% dodge in slot one, 70% dodge in slot three. Um, I, I think I kind of like her over Kefla because Kefla does need a lot of orbs for her to be dodging up until you get into Super Saiyan 2. Kefla is going to need orb changers and stuff like that. Kefla, I just do not find Kefla as consistent as people who really like her pretend that she is, right? And it's like, you know, you could do a run and she's perfect. She does a ton of, you know, 20 million plus super attacks. She's critting. She dodges super attacks and, and you know, you win easily. Or she could just get insta-killed, right? It's just sometimes they die, sometimes they're good, right? Like, it's it's, it's just here and there. You're going to see all these characters die a lot. I've seen so many. I'm in a bunch of Dokkan group chats, which I love because I could kind of, like, see how people are talking about characters and stuff like that. And at the amount of times I saw global players losing missions because Int Gotenks and SDR Kefla died, right? Like, it's Videl is not going to be any different than them. She's the same thing as them. There are slight differences between these characters. Now, Tech Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, he's a bit different than the other ones. He does have a 50% chance to dodge just at the start of turn. When he does a 12-key super attack, he has 83% chance to dodge after he supers. That's true. It's 83% chance to dodge, which is obviously very good. Um, and if you get him to 11 key, he has 50% crit, 50% dodge, and 50% damage reduction. Right? Like, he's pretty effective. I, I find this guy to be good. Um, you know, 80% chance to dodge in, like, slot 3 or something like that is very effective. Uh, this guy is just a, a, a real solid character. Um, at looking at this, easy ATURs are not half as good as I thought they were. I, I thought easy ATURs were much better, but I don't... Nothing on this list, and then we could get Exchange Boo at 2 and then Gohan at 1. I, nothing on this list right now is a god. Like, it, it, even Tech Ultimate Gohan, he's... I would not consider Tech Ultimate Gohan one of the... I don't know how high I want to go, but I, I would not consider Tech Ultimate Gohan. He's probably not even top 20. I, I, I don't know. I mean, I I do want to do that ranking every character until Vegito Blue, but I feel like 
Well, I was going to say people have kind of come off of him, but no, they haven't. Every day I see a tweet or a comment or something of someone going, well, AJ El Vegito Blue is not the greatest ever, but he's not that bad. Yes, he is. <laughs> yes, he is. Yes, he is that bad. Uh, now, why do I have Exchange Boo this high? It's very simple. Exchange Boo is really solid turn one. Period. They're very good turn one. I've seen really impressive tanking from this character against Cell Max and Blue Cow Can Goku and Evolution Blue Vegeta and stuff like that. Turn one. I For months, I, you could go back six months, I'm talking about how important it is to be really good at the start. And, I mean, Exchange Boo can really handle that well. The thing is, is that Super Boo, towards the end, I'm not that big a fan of this guy. They, they, Evil Boo is nice. And then they drop off quite a bit with what they did with Super Boo. Like, I'll take in Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks over Tech Super Boo, right? But the start of the fight is just so important. Uh, remember that this guy has the same shitty condition as Gotenks, but it's far more consistent in my in my experience seeing this guy come out because of all the healing on the Majin Power team. Because remember, he has the exact same active skill condition as Gotenks since they came out. Um, as a pair, you know, as matching uh, dual Dokkan Fest characters. Um, this guy's good. If you're going up against an AGL boss, this guy destroys, he destroys them. But if he's not type advantage, where he's guarding with, you know, 70% damage reduction, I mean, he, he can get slapped up. I wish they would have taken away some of this guy's offense and given him more defense instead. I, I don't know. I, I think I would have liked him a little bit better. I mean, you guys know the whole thing with me. I mean, defense is better than offense 99% of the time in this game. Like, it's just it's just how it is. Um, so I like him with his very strong defense at the start of the fights. Um, certainly, I guess one thing we could say, I don't feel the need to drop him below the dodge or die characters, but Majin Power certainly is hurt by the new fights. Right, Buhan is not quite as effective in the newer fights. Super Easy A Kid Boo is not quite as effective. In Fat Boo, he's God. But the other good characters on the team are just a little bit less effective. And, I mean, keep in mind, in order for him to have 70% damage reduction, he does need a Majin Power character on rotation. If he doesn't have a Majin Power character on rotation, he doesn't have his big uh, damage reduction. So, that's something that's uh, very important. Uh, then at number one is Tech Ultimate Gohan. Tech Ultimate Gohan, to me, uh, no way in hell I'm going to call him underrated. But I would say his turn one performance is very underrated. Um, people, when they talk about this character, or maybe I should say when they bait about this character, they completely forget about this. They just forget that he's guarding with damage reduction turn one. Like, that helps a lot. Gohan typically is better on his first turn than he is on his second turn. Now, a lot of people love this type of character because the way the community is, they love characters that could stack up a lot and build up and get stronger and stronger and stronger. But, I mean, it's much better when you're just elite right away. <laughs> you know, I, I mean, that's saved for summonable LRs right now. But, I mean, when you're just elite right away, that's what's even better. Um, you know, based upon if he's with Beast Gohan or with AJ Ultimate Gohan or something like that, this guy can look very good. This guy can tank the 3 million super attacks. He's got those abilities, but even with how good they made his EZA, he does not just solo the game in slot one. This guy gets killed easily in slot one in a lot of these fights. Topo is a better slot one than this Gohan. Base Topo, right? And obviously, God of Destruction Topo is way above him, but yeah, I mean, that that's kind of the thing. Tech Gohan is good, but again, as I said, none of these top 10 here I would consider like even within the top 20. I, I, Tech Gohan, a top 20 character in the game? I don't think so. I do not think so. I don't think so. Um, I, the LR EZAs have been ridiculous. The summonable LRs have been monsters. A lot of the Dokkan Fest TURs. Um, again, we'll, we'll see. I mean, once I... I probably will still do this Vegito, ranking every character until Vegito Blue video. It's just been very tough with how crazy things have been with the... The thing, but maybe... Maybe I'll try and do it tonight. Uh, maybe. Hmm. I might consider it. Ranking every character until Vegito Blue. I mean, it's certainly a very fun... <laughs> it's certainly a very, 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 very fun idea. Uh, I think I, I probably could. I, I might do it tonight. I might do it tonight. I, I might do it tonight. Because I expect tonight, by the way, in... Uh, 
uh, my brain is not working. It's 24 minus 5. In like 19 hours, 18 hours, something like that. My brain isn't working very well. I'm hungry. I just ordered some bagels. I, I, some bagels are fine, right? Um, I already beat Swagkage with that bet. The, the salad bet, if you're curious. But yeah, I got some bagels. I did have a Caesar salad earlier, but I, I was like, dude, some blueberry bagels? Like, come on. Like, blueberry bagels are going to be some fire. That's fire. But uh, yeah, I expect we'll probably see the Peppy Gal characters tweeted in 19 hours, 18 hours, whatever. 4 a.m. my time tomorrow i expect but we'll see we'll see we'll see again i don't have the i'm not you know in the you know complete you know schedule listed off thanks amatsu san for giving me the schedule when all the info is getting tweeted and stuff like that but i think it's gonna be you know a little bit under 24 hours or whatever um so yeah this is what we're going with with the top 10 um and then i have it kind of like this i don't i don't know i mean f full built up super easy goku black is effective I don't feel like there's really that much separation. Zamasu and Super Easy A, Super Saiyan 3, Goku, they feel a little bit worse. But all these characters kind of like in a similar level. I, I, I like this is what I like right there, yeah. Um, now, in terms of the last one I did, I dropped Kibu a lot. I It's just getting hit, man. I ha Having to get hit is just brutal. And then again, you know, he, he feels just a little bit worse. Buhan feels a little bit worse. Uh, exchange boo is slightly worse and then all of a sudden it's like damn like that that could hurt these majin power characters right um so yep there we go this is what we'll go with uh let me know what you guys think again videl is very good but i mean she's very similar to kefla and Int gotenks and stuff like that she's just another one of these character archetypes that we've seen of a lot so far this year